guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Shauna and today I'm going to be talking to you guys about my hair and hair extensions. So a company called Irresistible Me did reach out to me and offered to send me a set of hair extensions to try and it really couldn't have come at a better time because I've been very frustrated with my hair recently. So this is my hair in its normal state. All of my hair is forward here. This is all my hair. And my hair is typically pretty thick actually, but it looks so thin because of all this breakage. So all these layers here that you're seeing, I did not cut these layers. This is just straight breakage. So I've been coloring my hair light. I've been lightening my hair for many, many, many years. But I wanna say not last summer, but the summer before I decided to do like an ombre effect. And I had a brand new stylist and she didn't really know my hair and it did not turn out well, you guys. And in fact, I will link a video down below of when it happened and my hair is just orange. It's just a bright gingery orange. It did not turn out the way I liked. And um, I kept going back to her and we just kept trying to lighten it more and get it back to normal. And it just took so many processes that my hair just became extremely damaged. And there is a ton of breakage. So there's all these little layers here with just, just dead ends and breakage. And I've been this close to just chopping my hair up to about here just to get rid of all this dead end at the bottom. But if you could see how thin the ends have gotten, there's hardly anything left at the very bottom, you guys. So um, this really was perfect timing. So Irresistible Me, they sent me some extensions to try. And I have to say, I am very, very happy with them. So they do come in a box like this. You open up the box and inside you get um, a packet of the hair. So. On one half of the package, you've got the hair extensions, and then on the other half, you have a couple of sample wefts to try to see if it's exactly what you like. So I did like them so much that I ended up getting a couple of more sets. With my own money, I bought a couple more. So um, the set that I got, I asked for Platinum Blonde, and I think they sent me the, I think they're called Royal something, I forget. I will leave a link down to it to below, below, but I did get them in the Platinum Blonde because I wanted to be able to dye them to match my hair because my hair is kind of ombre at the moment, and I couldn't get an appointment with my hairdresser. I mean, my schedule was just so tight, there was no way I was gonna be able to go to get them done, so I ended up dyeing them myself. So the dye job isn't the greatest, so don't hold that against the hair extensions. Um, that's just me and my crappy skills. But anyway, so this is what they look like right now. And I got them in the 22 length, so I can kind of trim them to match my hair. And I dyed them and tried to ombre them myself, and it didn't turn out great, but once they're on and curled and stuff, you really can't notice, and no one's noticed so far. So anyway, these are very thick. These are the 200 gram ones. And the thing that I really love about this company in particular is they have what is called the Signature Weft. Now the Signature Weft is just this one weft here, and it is so thick, it actually has four rows of wefts all sewn into one clip, which is fantastic for me because I hardly ever, ever, ever put all the wefts in. I usually just use the one weft because it's really quite thick and this is all I really need to thicken up my hair to my desired thickness. So, so the only other set of hair extensions that I own are the Bellamy hair extensions and these are much thicker than the ones I ordered, but I hardly ever, ever use all the wefts, you guys, because I just it just gets a little too heavy on the head and there's so many clips in there and stuff being exposed. It's just easy for me to use the one um, signature weft from Irresistible Me. So it would take two of the four clip wefts of the Bellamy's to equal the same thickness in just one of the clips of the signature weft from Irresistible Me. Also, the way the hair is sewn in is much more secure with the Irresistible Me ones. The ones in the, Be the Bellamy ones, they've got like this, these like thinner rows of lace and the hair doesn't seem to be quite as securely held into this little spine, I think is what you call them of the Bellamy's, and I'll show you a close-up real quick, but um, you could tell that the the base that the hair is sewn into on the Irresistible Me's is just much sturdier than the Bellamy ones. Another thing with the Bellamy ones, as far as quality goes, I would say that the quality of hair is just as good as the in the Irresistible Me as they are in the Bellamy's. Um, and this is kind of a hard judgment call to say because different people grow this hair you guys so the person that grew this hair is going to be different than the person that grew this hair and other sets so you can't get really there is very rarely do you get two sets of hair extensions where the same person grew all the hair so as far as the quality of the hair goes i would say that the quality is just as good in both sets one thing i will say about my irresistible me's is the irresistible me ones they hold a curl better than my bellamy ones and i don't think that has anything to do with like it being bad quality or anything i just think that the person that grew the hair it just has a different hair type you guys so my bellamy's don't hold a curl quite as well as my irresistible me ones but once these are 
you know, styled and straightened and curled and stuff. They're really shiny. They're just as shiny as these. These ones are definitely very thick and shiny and silky. It's definitely very excellent quality hair. Um, I just don't wear these quite as much anymore because the color doesn't really match my hair color anymore. And um, I just don't have the time and patience to clip in all the different clips. So in fact, I loved the Signature Weft and the Irresistible Me so much that I did get two more sets and I dyed them bright colors just for fun. So um, the dye job's not great, you guys, so I apologize about that, but I, I did take one set and I dyed them this like lavender color and then I took another set and dyed them this like teal color and these are just purely for fun, you guys. Um, but I think they turned out really nice and the Signature Weft is a lot cheaper than just buying a whole set and you really, I don't think, need the entire set. I really, really think that just the one weft is all you need so okay guys so I'm just gonna show you how I normally style my hair and use these extensions and when I do use these I pretty much just use the signature weft and that's all I use I don't really bother with the other clips however you know you could clearly feel free to use all the clips if you want to but this to me is just the easiest and this is what I t normally tend to do so let's go ahead and just get started okay so I've got my mirror here so I can see what I'm doing and I'm just going to section off my hair just kind of back behind the ear because I like to go a little bit lower um, because when the when the clips are a little bit higher, it's just easier for them to peek through and I don't want anyone to see them So I'm gonna go behind my ear here and put them down a little bit lower And then I'm going to clip the rest of my hair up Like this and then I'm gonna spin around and secure the clips. So there are four clips here. I'm gonna take the two in the middle So it's not a perfect color match, you guys, but it's it's pretty close. It's close enough that nobody really notices. So this is what they look like in. Let's move this. And you can see they're quite long. So they come down to about here. And once they're all curled, they're going to blend out a little bit better. So now I'm going to go ahead and start curling them. So I've got it part my hair parted kind of where I normally wear my part. And I'm going to split it just down the middle in two sections. I don't section off my hair in like a bunch of little sections like other people do. I kind of just wing it. So, um, and to curl my hair, I'm going to use these different, these two tools here. So this one here is just a Revlon one and a quarter inch barrel curling iron with a little clip. And the other one is the, ins the Kiss Insta Wave. I don't know how thick the barrel is. I want to say it's three quarters of an inch, an inch maybe, I'm not sure. But um, I like to use the two different barrels because I like to get kind of varying sizes of curl just to make it look a little bit more effortless and beachy. So that's what I do. So now I've got my hair separated. I'm gonna give them a, a quick brush through real quick to make sure there's no tangles. Okay, so I'm gonna start taking just small sections. I'm not taking really big thick sections because especially with this Insta Waver here, you can't take really thick sections or else it'll kind of jam up the device. So I'm going to just slide this in here. And one thing I like about this Insta Wave is, is it doesn't hold the curl really tight against the barrel. It's, it's more kind of like loosely coiled around that barrel, which gives kind of a more like a random curl. It's not so completely perfect and ringlety, but it is like a nice curl. And then the next section, I'm going to curl in the opposite direction just so they don't all stick together. Some people don't like to do that. So if you don't like to do that, then by all means don't. I do like to do it. So I'm just going to curl it in the opposite direction. And I don't like the hair that's been sitting on the barrel too long to get burnt or anything because this thing does get quite hot. So I kind of loosen one curl and curl up the rest all the way until I get to the ends sometimes. And see the curls aren't perfect. They're just kind of random. Next section. And I kind of pull downwards as it, it winds up towards the ends just because if you have too much hair on that little clip, then it can, it can get jammed up. So I really just try to keep it loose. 
like that. And then every once in a while I'll incorporate the bigger curling iron. So now I'm going to go in with the Revlon one, curl it in the opposite direction. And you can use a little bit thicker sections with this curling iron because it, it's not like the Insta Wave that's going to get jammed up. So I can take kind of bigger, thicker sections when I use this wand. And I leave the ends kind of hanging out because I don't want it to be too perfect, you know what I mean? Actually, this is too thick. Let's take some of that hair out. And this is going to get pretty boring, so I'm going to go ahead and speed through the rest of it until I get to the front, and then I'm going to show you what I do with the front. Now that we're up at the front, I'm going to take this chunk that's just over my ear here. I'm going to curl it with the Revlon curler. I'm going to leave the ends kind of poking out a little bit and just go over it with the heat just a little bit just to smooth them a bit. Now these sections here, these layers, I like to do these a little bit looser, more loosely. So I'm going to take the Insta Waver. And I'm not gonna go too close to the root. I'm gonna go probably about halfway down the shaft. And I'm gonna not hold it quite as long and just put a couple of twists in it just to give it a little bit of a bend and then release it. So it's just more of like a limp kind of a wave. And then I'm gonna take the bangs bit or what would be my bangs out. And then this last section here, I'm gonna curl with the Revlon wand and I'm going to just twist it just one time. Just a little bit of twist and then kind of drag through the ends just to smooth them a bit, but just give it just one little last bend. And then I'm gonna leave this out for now and come back to it later. So now I'm gonna go and do the other side and I will speed through this again, so hold on. Okay, so now we're back to the front again, and I'm going to do the same thing. So I'm just going to take sections, and I'm going to make them a little bit more loosely curled than the rest. So just a couple, like a bend or two, and then just kind of pull it out and not leave it on quite as long. So it's just a bit more limp. Same thing a different curling iron just put one little twist in it and then just kind of slowly bring the ends through just to smooth them and then I'm going to take the bangs out kind of leave them off to this side here for now same thing just one little bend
Okay, so now for the bangs, I do something just a little bit different. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the bangs here, and I like to take the Revlon one, the one and a quarter inch barrel, and put it real close to the base of the root of the hair, and then just kind of stretch the hair over and pull downwards, just to give it a little bit more volume and zhuzh to this section of my hair and then release it. So I've just kind of given a little bit of something to the front. Then, on the rest of the little bangs, I'm gonna take the Insta Waver and just give it a bit of a twist. Like that. Same thing on this side, just separate the bangs out. Give it a bit of a twist and then release. So now I'm just going to kind of run my fingers through the hair and kind of break up some of these curls. And some bits I think might need to be a little bit recurled, so like this section here. I'm going to go back through with the Insta Waver and just kind of wrap it around the barrel a little bit. Not too long, but just enough to give it a little bit of a bend. Okay guys, and that's it. So now we've got these beautiful, thick, luscious Bichy Waves. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video um, and s might want to try out these Irresistible Me hair extensions. I seriously highly recommend them, especially that signature weft. I will leave a link down below, especially to that specific signature weft. And Irresistible Me was kind enough to leave me a 10% off coupon code for all of my subscribers. So I will leave a link to that coupon code down below. And thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Bye!